Scott Harrison, uh, the founder and CEO of Charity Water. Scott, happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day, Andrew. Thanks for having me. So today you've released the video, Scott, Water Changes Everything. Yep, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's an animated short, about three minutes long, that just talks about, talks about the water crisis, some of the solutions, and uh, what people can do. And it was, uh, was kind of concepted, uh, you know, we saw this, this video um, a guy called Jonathan Jarvis did, uh, called The Crisis of Credit Visualized. It was all green and kind of showed uh, the mess that we got into uh, as a country um, in, in a really simple animation. So we just reached out to him, uh, such as the way at Charity Water, just to, to constantly pitch people and see if they'll, uh, if they'll help us and pitched him the idea for this video and he, he said, you know, I, I love it and I'd love to help. And then um, Kristen Bell, uh, who's an actress, was coming to Africa with us. She'd raised about $100,000 through her birthday uh, by giving up her birthday. And we asked her um, in Africa, so she couldn't really say no, whether she would do the voiceover. And the thing came together and um, we're really proud of it. So for people who haven't seen the video, Water yep. Changes Everything, how does water change everything? So water uh, makes a huge impact on, uh, on education, on health. Um, some of the stats of the video talks about, you know, uh, the UN came out with a stat that said 80% of disease on the planet is directly related to unsafe water, lack of sanitation, just a lack of toilets. Uh, there's a stat in the video, 40 billion hours are wasted in Africa every single year uh, just by you know, women and children fetching water. Uh, that adds up to more than the entire workforce of France. So, you know, I was interested in microfinance, I was interested in health, I was interested in education. I learned that half of the world's schools didn't have clean water or toilets. And water is just kind of the question behind the question. And, you know, without water, I mean, you know, as, as children often say to us, you know, water is life. You know, what have you got? So we just try to, you know, talk, to, talk about some of the, the problems if you don't have safe water and then, um, you know, the hope that um, clean water can bring into a community. On Earth Day today, what yep. are the political issues that will enable water to change everything? What, what, what can people do today in terms of um, making and solving the water issue? Sure. I mean, I think, um, you know, conservation here at home is, is always an easy step, uh, using less water. Uh, but unfortunately, that doesn't directly translate to you know, the billion people in the world living without access to water. You know, for instance, uh, each American um, here in this country is responsible for about 150 gallons of clean water per person per day. And you know, some we drink, some we flush down our toilets and wash our clothes with, some are in our pools and golf courses. Uh, but it's, a, it's an astonishing amount of water, 150 gallons per person. The billion people in the world don't even have five gallons. So they don't have a 30th of what we take for granted. So I think you know, awareness, just learning more about the issue is a really important thing. We, we're constantly still talking to people that have never heard there's a water crisis. They're, they're shocked to learn that you know, a seventh of the world um, you know, exists without the most basic thing. Um, when people can donate, you know, there are a lot of great solutions that can bring clean water into, um, into these communities of need. We're solution agnostic at Charity Water, so we fund wells and springs and rainwater harvesting systems and biosand filters and UV and carbon and uh, whatever the appropriate technology is for the community. But $20 um, gives one person clean water or access to a clean water project. So it's actually very manageable. Um, a billion people you know without water and there's a lot of work to be done so I'd say today you know people could just get aware um, certainly um, conserve water here and you know, if they're interested they could donate one thing that people could do today on Earth Day in terms of conserving water not taking a <laughs> shower not washing not not watering their, their lawn I think it's using less water I think it's you know turning the water off when they're brushing their teeth I think it's the um, you know, the, the long showers, I mean, we, we just take water for granted here. Um, and, and maybe, you know, imagining a typical woman in the developing world who um, that very morning uh, is walking three or four hours to, to a water source, which is a, a muddy spring. You know, she's fighting off uh, leeches. She's afraid of being attacked by hyenas. Um, I just think the awareness is, is really important. And then, you know, deciding to do something about it.